Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt McCoy. Thanks for joining us. An incident on the University of Alabama campus that prompted a Saturday email from Dr. Witt has left many people wondering what led to the response in the email. Dr. Witt referred to the use of a racial slur on the UA campus. Earlier today, I talked with both of the parties involved to get their sides of the story and if they think the response through email was enough. Justin Zimmerman was walking home from work Friday night when he says he heard something that caught him off guard. Someone in the Delta Da Delta fraternity house using a racial slur towards him. Why? <laughs> I mean, who said that? And uh, the person said, come here, boy. Rather than getting into an altercation, I just walked away. That's when Justin called the University of Alabama Police Department and filed a report, which led to this email response by UA President Dr. Robert Witt. Quote, the words that were used are offensive to our community and are especially upsetting to African Americans. He goes on to say, I want to emphasize in the strongest possible terms that the University of Alabama finds this behavior totally unacceptable and an appropriate disciplinary action will be taken, end quote. But Justin says even with this response from Dr. Witt, he wishes the campus would be more open to diversity. It's very disappointing. It's very disheartening. And honestly, I'm not quite sure where this school is progressively because anytime a university, anybody in a university feels that they could just yell out the word it has to reflect on the university and how they t and how they view race relations. Representatives from the Delta Da Delta fraternity declined to comment on camera, but they did send us this response from their Alabama chapter president. Quote, I am undoubtedly upset at what occurred. What was said is in no way reflects the views and attitudes of the fraternity as a whole. Under any circumstance, language like this and blatant disrespect to others should never be tolerated. He goes on to say he will be dealt with the university and fraternity accordingly. The University of Alabama's non-discrimination policy states that harassment based on race will not be tolerated, and Justin is hoping for the individual who shouted the racial slur towards him be expelled. 